What is up, Stud Squad? It is I, Logan, or Republic Studs, here with Luke Skywalker, who is leading my LEGO Star Wars 2021 Rebellion Army. Now, this is certainly my weirdest and most diverse army in a number of ways. I'm first going to be going through the figures, which there are a lot of, and I have a lot to talk about here. And then after that, I'm going to be going into the builds. I also have plenty of builds on the ground, I just could not fit them all on the table, we'll go over them too. So this army mainly makes up of, you know, a lot of duplicates, especially in the back you'll notice of like Hans, Leia's, we'll have even a few Luke's. So the way I did certain ones, like characters like Luke Skywalker, is I included their appearance for when he's strictly rebel, like in his rebel uniform or, you know, Tatooine, uh, for, for the front specifically, I just have that one. But if he's in his Jedi garbs, he's, that technically counts in, like, under a Jedi army, say. And, you know, pretty much with Hans and Leia's, I counted all of them, uh, you know, with Finn's uh, and all them. This is also a Resistance army. And, you know, we got Rogue One, we got Rebels. There's a lot to cover here. Uh, so let's just get started. We'll start over on the Rogue One side and move our way, yeah, I guess, chronologically. So here are our Rogue One boys. We have Bodhi, Rook. We have the, uh, not the Saw Gerrera guy, Baze Malvis, that's it. We have Cassian, which I am excited to see that show. That should have some great sets, too. We have Chirrut Emway. We have Jin Urso. We have Lando right there. We have, well, but we have, uh, we have K2SO. We have Nine Num, who flew with uh, Lando Calrissian right there. And now here is the main squad that is pretty much from episode one. We have 3PO, R2, Han, Chewie, Luke, Leia, Obi-Wan. We even have Bail Organa back there because, you know, they each have, like, you know, their counterpart behind them, R2 and 3PO, Chewie and Han, Luke and Obi-Wan, Leia, and, uh, Ka and what's his name? And yeah, uh, Bail Organa. Now, here is Rey and Luke. We have the Finn and Leia, and we have Poe and Rose. Sadly, I don't actually have an old Han Solo, technically. I have a custom one in the back, you'll see, but I don't have the official old Han Solo. Now, over here, we also have BB-8 and Dio, which is pretty neat. So this center part is where we have my army, if you, that's what you'll call it. Uh, it's certainly a conglomerate of many troopers. Now, first off, we have six. Endor Rebel Troopers, and I do have the Ewok Village, so I always collected those a lot when I was younger, and they're also not in great shape, just because, you know, they're they're a bit of a mess. Then over here, we have four of the Rogue One pilots, including General Merrick from the Advent Calendar. His hair is currently, I think, on the Cobb Vanth or something. Over here, we have Wedge Antilles. We have Dak. I ran over my other Dak with a car. Uh, and then here is, what's his name? This is Biggs Darklighter, yes. And then here is Luke with his big helmet. We also back there have two pilots. We have Luke and Biggs, uh, the old G version. That's the yellow-headed version, so that's really old. And then moving down, we have my four Rebel Troopers, which I'm happy to have four of. I'd honestly prefer to have like 12, so maybe next time around we'll have some of those. We also have a Bespin Guard. We have Captain Antilles, who is being choked by Darth Vader uh, with that particular face. We also have two of the uh, Bespin Guard trooper people uh, one of them is has the wrong head but that's fine then moving over we have resistance pilots we have i, I can't remember his name it's uh snap wexley that's it i, I remember to be as poe was shouting it when he died then here's tally the only reason i know her is because she is a battlefront character then here are a bunch of random pilots i believe we even have Paige back here yeah this is Paige, rose's sister uh and then the others are all pretty rando random ran don't uh dudes that kind of looks like a good clone face now that i look at it i don't even think that's the right helmet uh but that's besides the point then over here we have some resistance battle pack boys uh, sadly i don't actually think i did a first order army so i might have to do that uh but yeah so we got a bunch of resistance battle pack people uh some of them are custom you move further back there even is that little technician dude back there but you know they're all variety of either resistance or some of them are from episode eight now let's move into the wookies now the wookies are pretty cool we have variants uh, now, I count them as rebellion because, you know, wherever you see them, they're always rebelling. Uh, we have a variety of Chewies back there, actually. Uh, we even have these are all Chewies, pretty much. Chewy Chewy. Uh, we have two over there, Chewy.com. Uh, not plugged, not advertised. Uh, but yeah, so he comes with nice arm printing. You also get, you know, all these other ones. This is a Captain Wookiee. We have two of those. We have Chief Tarful. Uh, obviously, this is probably one of the most star-studded uh, armies, like, armies with most characters. 
Uh, let's move over to the side a little. So over here we have another two, two uh, you know, Scarif Trooper dudes. We also have the guys from, whatchamacallit, from Rogue, not Rogue One, Solo. We have her, uh, her and her little buddy that's played by Warwick Davis. We have Snow Wookiee, More Wookiee, Wookiee. We even have this little guy, I think his name's Moroth. I call him like a white Wookiee. He comes with really cool. He's underrated figure, by the way. Underrated figure, more off. And then moving over, we have Ewoks. So then we have like Wicket. We have, uh, that's just a w w Ewok warrior. That's a low gray. That's, uh, I don't, I don't remember his name. I know there's Chief Chirpa back there. I know this because I'm starting to watch the new Ewok movies on Disney Plus and they're terrible. And here are the Rogue One Rebels. First, actually, we have Hoth. I don't have many Hoth Rebels, surprisingly. They're mostly custom, so most of the faces on these characters are inaccurate. Uh, but these guys actually had all names. I forgot most of them, but uh, this is Bistin. This is Pow. Um, is uh, Melchior. I know they all had names in Rogue One, so that was pretty cool. Uh, we had the guy who got shot when he ran out of the bunker. Uh, this guy, he, he was there. I, I don't remember how he got shot. Uh, you know, they, they, they didn't have much character development, but I still think it was neat they gave them all names. Then we're going to move back further. Let me, you know, switch around the plate a little. Here's some Battlefront Rebels, actually, right here with the jetpacks. That's pretty cool. Then moving back, we have Ray, and then we also have Christmas Poe. We also have a regular Poe without hair. Now, the reason Poe and Finn don't have hair because I'm using it right now for my clone troopers, so I don't they don't need really hair because I never use them. Uh, then here is two Admiral Radices. There's even a Rebel Technician. We have my only Admiral Akbar. I could have sworn I had another, but I cannot find him for the life of me. We also have the Kanan Jarrus with his blind version. I have his other version, but his head is in use right now. We have Ezra. We have Hera. We have Xeb. Uh, who is very rare. He's like 50 bucks, and Hera's a good, like, 30, 40. And then we have Sabine, which is all fine and dandy. We have my custom Firestar Toys, Will Row Hood. Now, if you don't know him, he he is the guy who ran around with the ice cream carton, the Cantona. Uh, he had, like, information in it or something from Empire Strikes Back. So he is fantastic. I'm gonna try to move quicker because we got a lot of ships, but we got Cara Dune, we have Cassian, we have Admiral Holdo, we have the new, this new guy, this is General Dodonna. We also have this guy, he passed away recently, the actor, um, but but he was there, he, he was from episode 8, we have Lieutenant Connix, we have another custom Firestar Toys Christmas girl who uh, sadly didn't come in in time. We also have 3PO Santa, we have the Hans and the Leias. Uh, and you know, Lor Santeca, Maz, and you know, all the Disney World characters are back there. And also all the, the custom characters. Now let's get to the ships. So first off for our resistance slash rebellion army, we have the X-Wing. This is a staple. Uh, this is, these are both red 5 X-Wings. Technically this one could be switched out, I believe. Obviously this one is the most superior. We have Poe's X-Wing, and then we also have the new Luke's X-Wing, which is garbage. But this, I guess, could be my red squadron or whatever. Obviously Poe sticks out a little like a sore thumb. Next up, we have the A-Wing Fighter Squadron. So we have this green one from Rebels. We have this one, I believe from 2016. This is the one where I got my first Lando, which I needed forever, to wait forever to get my first Lando uh, because they hadn't dropped one. Then there is the new Resistance one, which you could get for, I think, 24 bucks now. I bought it for 30 but it's a decent set. Uh, you know, a little expensive, but I think it's worth it. I like my little A-Wing Entourage. I think it's worth getting two. A-Wings at least, you know, just as a flanking squadron for, say, one of my favorite Rebellion ships ever. So this is no doubt my favorite LEGO resistant ship, and probably one of my favorite standard line LEGO Star Wars ship as a whole. It is the Cantive 4, and this is a beautiful set. I have yet to do a review. Uh, comment if I should. Please comment if I should do a quick review of this set, because I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, it comes with a nice interior. You even get a little room to command. I honestly think this would have been better if it was a hallway, uh, you know, for, like, the Rebels to stand guard in or something. That would have been neat. And then, obviously, the beauty of this set is the engines. I mean, here, oh, my gosh, this thing is freaking massive. Uh, but look at that thing. That is big engines. A beautiful set. This is the only uh, ship to appear in every trilogy. It was in the prequels, originals, and sequels. So that is pretty neat, unless you count the little Millennium Falcon one, I guess. Uh, but yeah, so th I, I love this ship. It's a fantastic ship for your Rebel collection. If you have not gotten one, I'd strongly recommend trying to find one. It is one of my oldest, largest sets I own. It is the 2011 Millennium Falcon. Now, I played with this set so much when I was younger, like, so much that now it is such a fragile little set. It is, like, 
it, it's cracking everywhere. The dust is insane. I mean, you could zoom in on that thing. It's not good at all. Uh, those are stickers. That's not an actual break. Uh, but yeah, so it's not in good shape, but I wanted to include my Millennium Falcon in here nonetheless. I uh, really want to get the new one, but I can't afford it at the moment, or I just haven't really been wanting to spend what the 150 it's gone on price for. So, you know, I'll, I'll wait. I know there's always going to be a Millennium Falcon out there, and I don't know if that's the one I want in particular. But, uh, yeah, it's it's a Falcon. I just need a new one eventually one of these days. Okay, now this is another one of my favorite armies. Because it can duel as a 501st army. Uh, except for this ship, because that one's terrible. Oh! There he is! Now, Admiral Akbar is actually within the Resistance Bomber. Now, the reason this is because I dropped it, this set in the water a while back. And he's still there, uh, because, you know, I wanted to put figures in. So there is Admiral Akbar. I knew I had another one. It's a trap. So yeah, anyway, there is the Resistance Bomber. Decent set. Uh, decent set. Terrible, you know, uh, you know, piece in the movie. Uh, here's the Resistance ITS Transport. I still have not been on the Disney ride. I saw a bit of it on YouTube. I'm trying to keep it a surprise for myself mostly. But I think a super creative thing, I believe you like see a viewport out the back in the ride. So someone on the who's been on the ride can tell me. But that's super neat. And I also like how you can shoot from the back. Because that's kind of like the ride, I guess. And then here is a beautiful set. If you'd find this one online for like 50 bucks, 60 bucks, I'd buy it. Uh, it is the U-Wing. And even if it doesn't come with figures. Like, it's just such a good build that's worth having. If they want to redo one of the, like, the sets, like, like, where they do, like, you know, and shrink it down, this would be a good one to do. I mean, this one, you know, it's kind of shrunk enough. I mean, there's barely any room in there to begin with. But I, I'd certainly like to see it, because it is inaccurate. Like, the bottom is still too small for proportion-wise. I'd love to see a UCS set of this U-Wing. Beautiful, beautiful design. Some pretty miscellaneous builds. We have the 2014 Snow Speeder. We have the new Junior Snow Speeder, which is a pile of doo-doo. We have the beautiful, beautiful 2016 Y-Wing. Again, recommend. Beautiful set. Uh, I don't want to see this one miniaturized as much. Then we, over here we have the PewDiePie ship. That's what I like to call it because it has the PewDiePie designs on it, I feel like. Uh, you know, this is from Solo, the little speeders. Then over here we have my Rebel stuff. I have Captain Rex's ATT, but I've already included him in my Republic Army. So that would feel kind of cheap to include as well. Uh, but yeah, here he is. Nothing super special. And then we also have one of the Rebels speeders, which is always a nice addition. Next up, we have what I still do be do nah, believe to be a massively underrated set. It is the Ski Speeder. Still a beautiful build, even though, you know, they're not entirely practical. I still love the build, especially on LEGO's part. We also have the kind of weird Ski Speeder. It's like, th these are kind of like the same thing, just like smaller and thinner. That's what it feels like anyway. Uh, but yeah, this is a nice, actually, Rebel Transport, or Resistance Transport. Beautiful for storage. Lego, please do more stuff where you give us troop transports. I honestly will appreciate any troop transport. Same way I love the ITS transport, even though it barely has any room in it. Finally, we have this little pod, which is basically this, this but g ginormous. That, that's what this is. Um, so, so yeah, this is neat. Uh, you know, it comes with some nice features. There's a little room. Again, Lego, more transports. I don't care what kind they are. This is fine. Uh, honestly, I'm good with any at this point. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this epic clone army. Oh my gosh, I'm so used to saying clone army, but this is my rebel army. Or whatever you'd like to call it, my little conglomeration. I, If I had to guess any number, probably over 100 figures at least. You know, maybe 100, 120, something like that. That's my guess. I don't feel like counting. Uh, but yeah, it's certainly an interesting army nonetheless. Easily one of my most diverse. I don't think I have more than like 20 or 15 of a single trooper. Uh, that's just, you know, how it works. Uh, you know, it's weird. It's weird. But I'd certainly, you know, in the future, I'd like to buff up my rebels. And I'd also like to buff up my, you know, indoor people a little. But other than that, I would say it makes for a great, you know, diversity. Because you really mix and match them in any battle scenario you would like. Now, I hope you guys all enjoyed. Please remember to like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the other things. And I will see you all in the next one. Remember to peace out and stay awesome.